Here, welcome to KBN Sports Talk. I'm Kevin, and today we had an amazing talk with Mercer tight end Drake Starks. He is an amazing all-around tight end and person. It is his first year at Mercer, and in our conversation that we had, we talk about his journey through high school, his offers, and him transferring from D2 College, Lenar Rin, and going to Mercer, and we get to see that journey, and he has to talk about it, and this year at Mercer, he's already having a great year. He already ha he has five receptions and 119 yards and one TD. He's doing pretty well. Hope you guys enjoy. So I'm here at Drake Starks, Mercer tight end. He's from Ringgold, Georgia. He went to Ringgold High School. He played tight end all four years, and he also was de played defensive end in his senior year. He had a couple sacks, and he had a lot of touchdowns as a tight end. So what kind of offers were you getting at Ringgold High School? Um, so I think I had a total of eight offers with uh, six of them being NAI collegiate offers. Um, one of them was uh, FCS, D1, uh, but it was Stetson University. It was a Pioneer League school, so they couldn't give athletic money. And uh, the other, my other offer, NCAA offer, was a uh, Division II, uh, Lenore Rhine University. And that's where I ended up actually going. But um, my uh, the, the guy that recruited me at one of the NAI schools is called Reinhardt. It was a uh, 40, 40 minutes away from my hometown. It was located in a town called Waleska, Georgia. So it was close to home. I knew the coaches. I've been there multiple times. And then I knew that I could come home anytime I wanted and my parents could come see me. And uh, the coach that actually started the program there, uh, Drew Chronic, um, he's actually the coach here at Mercer now. Um, started the program at Reinhardt and coached with Coach Foster, who was my recruiter from Reinhardt. And then Coach uh, Cronick went on his way, had a couple of other jobs, and then got the head coaching job at Lenore Ryan, and then brought Coach Foster on staff with him at Lenore Ryan. And then they brought my offer. They offered me at Lenore Ryan, so I ended up going to Lenore Ryan okay. before I came to Mercer. So I heard you say – uh, Reinhardt, he started that program. So did Reinhardt not have a football program before he came? He started that program back. They uh, they had a program back in the day, and then I can't remember what year it was. I, I want to say around 2013, around there. He his dad, him and his dad, uh, brought the program back and uh, started the football team there and started the program back. And so. And then he went off to Lenore Rhine. Len I apologize. Um, I think I think he, he went as an OC and then he uh, brought you he your, went to Lenore Rhine. Yeah. Okay. So how was I saw I read online that you were um all second team all south atlantic in the atlantic conference so it seems like you were doing pretty well at lenore ryan now you're at mercer what happened like for you to go to mercer what was like why did you go to like transfer over to mercer what was like the process what went through your mind because you looked like you were like from online you had a pretty a pretty good time at Lenore Ryan yeah, yeah I had a great time at Lenore Ryan and uh I had some you know I had some good good stats and I was we were playing some good ball winning a lot of games won a couple of conference championships there uh like you said my freshman year I was second team all conference and then my sophomore year I was first team all conference but uh you know, we were doing really good. We went to the first two years, 
that Coach Chronic was there, which was my first two years there. Um, we went to the playoffs, and both times we went to the third round, ended up losing to the national championship team both rounds. And then uh, – so he did really good there, and he got he got an offer to come coach at Mercer, which is close to his home, which is in uh, Noonan, Georgia. And, uh, you know, I just – I wanted to come play for him. I wanted to keep playing for him. And, uh, you know, Mercer is a lot closer to my home yeah, it's than Lenore Ryan was. Uh, I think Lenore Ryan is in Hickory, North Carolina. It was five hours from yeah, home. And, and uh, Macon's only two hours. Two hours and, and 52 minutes. Yeah. Depending on the Atlanta traffic that day, it could go from two and a half hours up to, up to three and a half. But uh, so that was a lot. Uh, I mean, that was the biggest deal was coming back home in the, my home state. And, uh, you know, bigger football. They play bigger teams. Uh, I felt like I, I proved myself in D2, and I, I wanted to prove myself at a higher level to uh, kind of get some some scouts looking my way, hopefully, in the future. So you going back to Georgia, so now is – do you have like family going? Well, is a COVID and everything. Well, saying COVID, did that have an effect on like transferring? Because, like, when you transferred sophomore and junior, which would have been last year, that's when COVID in 2020, everything was going on with COVID. So, did that like play an effect to you transferring? Like, did that like do anything? Was there any challenges you had to face because of COVID? No, because I, I transferred as soon as the fall semester ended. So I in January of last year, I was already at Mercer. And then, uh, you know, COVID hit around March. So I, I got in here before COVID hit. So that, that worked out in my favor All as right. far as not having any problems. I was just was I was just like wondering, so I know you said if you trans now, I was thinking, okay, you transferred this going to this year. So – like you said, you're playing bigger competition. Have you seen the big, like the difference? Is it like the same? Is it like much more challenging, or is it like the same kind of competition as D2 in like FCS? Is it like what is it like the biggest difference you've seen so far by playing, like in playing? Uh, uh, you know, you you have some probably some bigger guys, a little bit faster guys. But, uh, you know, there were some really good teams in D2 that could that could probably compete, or they had some guys that could definitely compete at this level. But, um, you know, I guess just, you know, size and speed and, you know, strength for some, off, uh, some guys as well. Okay. Right. I was just wondering, because I know, like, I've always, you always hear, like, FBS – is FBS for a reason, FCS is FCS for a reason, and D2 is D2 for a reason. I was wondering if, like, I've always heard, like, there's some FCS teams that could probably beat some FBS teams. So I was wondering, like, if some D2 teams could actually compete with FCS. Oh, most definitely. There, there are definitely some uh, – a, a good select few of D2 teams that could definitely compete right. with FCS teams. I think we should make – I think they should, ha like, do that. Like, get some, like, out of, like – you do FCS and FBS, why don't you do FCS and some D2s? Like, they do an FBS. And then this leads to, like, my last question. This year, you came – you're starting off very good in the FCS schedule. You've had – you had in three games, you've had five receptions, 119 yards, and one TD. Have you – is this, like – your best you think you've played so far in your college career, better than like, like so far you this, this season feel like the best you've done or you think like you could do better. Like, I know we all can do better, but physically, mentally, like how has this season been for you? Oh well, yeah. Like yeah. you said, uh, I, I, I take my, my gameplay very seriously. So I, I can always, you know, find something to improve on, but uh, uh, you know, physically, my body is is bigger and stronger and faster 
because um I took I took training real serious because you know quarantine and everything quarantine and then going from D two to D one you know I felt like to big prove jump. myself I needed to I needed to get my body in D one shape and you know shout out to uh, my coach coach Ward for our strength coach for doing helping me with that but um shout out coach Ward. <laughs> Coach Ward, man, he's the he's the man. But uh, yeah, uh, I definitely think this is a better start than I have. You know, I've learned a lot more technique and blocking. Um, like I said, I've gotten stronger, so I can I can push bigger guys back. I've gotten faster, so I can outrun some guys, which is a uh, kind of a new thing for me. But I I, d I do enjoy outrunning some guys, so. What would you say? So, if you were, you always say about like, like in NFL, you have the pocket passers, the scramblers, the runners, and you feel like tight ends, you have the like the blocking and receiving tight ends. What would you say is your like prototypical like method, like, not method? How do you say it? Um, how you are as a player? Are you like a blocking tight end, like a receiving tight end? Like, what kind of Tight end, would you classify yourself? Uh, you know, I don't. I don't want to sound. I don't know how you'd say it. Uh, conceited or prideful, but um, I'd say I'm more of a of a a total tight yeah. end as because all I, around. Uh, all around, because like I said, I started out as a receiver basically in high school. Yeah, and then I, I've slowly started learning how to block and I'm getting better and better at blocking and our offense is uh you know there's a lot of we're heavy run I'd say we're probably 60 40 run pass so we're a lot of run and we, we do like to pass it a lot and we like to get the ball to the tight ends as well so I'd, I'd say it's more of an all-around tight end because I I'm expected to do both all right that's good that's a good trait like because you always want to make sure especially with, as you said going to D2 to D1, you always want to make sure that you are well-rounded because, like you said earlier, there's bigger guys, faster. So you got to get be able to catch up to those reach blocks that you, ha that you have to do, especially because you don't want to let your running back get destroyed. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't want that. I, li I like to see him. I like to see my, my running back taking off and getting us a touchdown so that's what it's all about it's all about your team there's, everyone says there's no I in team hey man I don't care who scores as long as we score together and we win yep that's all that matters about getting the W well it was a fun conversation talked about your transferring to Mercer from all that going from Playing those little that one season as defensive end, getting those couple sacks. Uh that was just I wouldn't even count that. That was just uh, two hey. games, really. Hey, but you played it though. It still counts though in a way. I guess it does. It's fun. You had fun though, probably playing defense. I did end. have fun doing it, and that you know, it was I fun getting. Won't ever do it again. So. It was fun tackling somebody than not getting tackled. That's true. It was it was definitely different, but it was fun. So, this has been. A great interview with Drake Starks. Hopefully, maybe down the road, we have another one. I'd love to, definitely.